Hi y'all, Shira 7. Okay, so I want to talk about why certain women have higher standards because a lot of these guys are upset at women, but what if, what if these women were raised in a certain environment with certain standards? They can't just lower their standards if they were raised that way. So a lot of these men are mad for no reason because just because someone had, you know, parents that could do good for their children, you have men mad at women for being raised properly and that's that's crazy so when I say that I mean some women were raised to believe that a man's supposed to do this this, this and that and they've seen their father do it their or their stepfather and they've seen what their mother has done and so that's kind of what they expect you know life to be and then when they get out into you know the dating world they come across these men who have grown up a lot different and sometimes these men are broken because they didn't have two parents in the home or you know they grew up in a bad environment and then they try to you know to come up to a woman who grew up in a nice environment with you know good morals and values and they try to bring her down and lower her standards and then they're gonna get mad at her because they don't want to because she doesn't want to go to their level and that's not right, you know. That's why a lot of people say you have to be equal. Or, you know, someone has to be able to lift the woman up. Or, because if it's not, then you're just going to get drugged down. So, um, for example, like me, I was raised with my mom and my stepdad. And they both had really, you know, good jobs. Like, my mom owned her own business. And my stepdad, he worked, he's an engineer. So, you know, I had everything I wanted and needed, you know. And so I was taught that the man was the head of the household and that he pays the bills, you know, <clears throat> and stuff like that. So when I get out into the real world, you know, that's what I'm going to expect. That's what I'm going to expect. And I'm, I'm not gon going to deal with anything less. And if I do... I'll quickly move move along because that doesn't feel right to me. So you have to remember this, um, ladies, when you go out and you meet guys, they might not have grown up like you or they might have been like, you know, in a bad environment, didn't have anything. And now they want to push that on to you. And you, if it's not going to work for you, you can't stay in that relationship no matter what, because either they're going to drag you down or if you don't inspire them enough to get up and do something with themselves in a short amount of time, I wouldn't even give them that long. If if they can't step up, then they're just going to drag you down. So you can't stay with someone like that. I mean, like, if y'all break up and he goes and gets himself together because you're the woman he wants and you inspired him to become a better man, then that's perfectly understandable. But you can't give him the benefits of, you know, a relationship or a wife if he's not doing what he's supposed to be doing as a man. So, uh, always remember that. And men, a lot of men actually, you know, do better when they have a woman that expects more out of them because they're expected to do well. They're not expected to fail. They're expected to rise and to keep getting better and better. So if you don't have a woman that can uh, inspire you to do better, then, you know, how does your life look in the future, you know? You have to get with people that inspire you and can bring you up instead of down. So that's why I think the way I do. If y'all ever wonder why I think the way, and plus my sister only dated guys with a lot of money, my big sister. So I was like, looking at her and you know all her all her boyfriends anybody she ever dated they only drove like top of the line cars they in big houses they took her to Europe and they traveled and it was just like that's what I grew up seeing so I can't you know accept something less than that or worse than that because that was my you know personal experience and if I if I said okay well you know what forget all that let me just go get this guy 
who lives in the slums and you know date him because uh, I don't have any standards or I should lower my standards so I can have more chances I would rather wait and get the lifestyle that I deserve so my children can have what they deserve okay like if you if you date someone who grew up and th think it's okay to leave the wife and the, and the child then that might repeat itself when you decide to have a child with this person so it's not good always choose someone who has moral standards high standards as well don't choose someone who thinks family is disposable and who don't value or place value on a woman because most real men they know the value of a woman most other guys they don't so you need to find a man like ladies y'all need to find a man who value women and you can tell the ones who value women because they're gentlemen they still pay they pull out chairs they're considerate they bring you gifts and they treat you like the queen that you are they don't ask you for half of anything they don't expect you to pay they don't call you out of your name they don't treat you a certain way they call when they say they're gonna call and you know they don't have other women waiting on the sideline they don't have you know they're not irresponsible in any area of their life so that's how you can tell the type of man that values himself and values women so I get a lot of questions from women and they're already in the worst situation ever and they think you know they think there's a solution but when you're already in that situation that deep the only solution is to leave and better yourself you know sometimes it's just too late for that relationship and the only thing you need to focus on is yourself and your child if you had a child out of the relationship and not even worry about some other guy until you're taken care of your responsibilities and your child's responsibilities and you know there's too many women out there who are too focused on finding a man when they just left the last loser and you know obviously you need to get yourself together first lady like get yourself together be some be someone a decent man wants and when i say a decent man i mean like if you're like not in the place where you want to be in life on your own then and you have baggage now and you have past relationships you have baby daddies and you have this and that and you're not you don't have any type of degree this this and that you have to focus on yourself for that time okay stop looking for the man you've already had the chance with the man it didn't work out now focus on yourself and after you focus on yourself and you got your stuff in order and now you have time then yes you can focus on a relationship but I don't like it I don't like it when I see uh, women go from man to man to man and have baby after baby after baby to me that's very irresponsible as a lady you know um, those guys when they see you with a bunch of different kids from different different fathers they just see you for sex anyway they're not looking at you for long term so unless you can get somebody to marry you I don't suggest that you get into a committed relationship with anybody at that time like my mom was smart my mom had four kids she's been married five times my mom was smart she made them marry her before she gave anything up <laughs> she's like mm -mm, we got to get married so I don't know how this lady tricked these all these guys into marry her and quick too like she would get married within like six months she wouldn't even know the guy for but for six months and then they would be married I'm like what the heck and guys with money too I'm like but I only witnessed uh, two marriages because I have two stepdads uh, she married my sister's no my older older sister's dad uh, another guy before him my dad and then two other guys and i'm like how did you get these people to marry you like that i need i need to get her secret and she's like well i just told them you know I, i'm not doing nothing unless i got a ring i'm not doing nothing until we marry we don't have to 
We don't have to have no big wedding or nothing. We just go down to the courthouse. But I believe in marriage. And that's all I talked about. And, <laughs> and if you want to be with me, then you got to have, you know, you got to you gotta marry me. I don't do this dating thing, you know. She was adamant. She's like, I got four kids. I got my own business. I can do anything I want for myself. I need a husband. I need a partner. I don't need a date. I need a partner. Are you, are you that part? She would convince them that they were her husband before they even asked her to marry them. Because she was so adamant on getting married. <laughs> so, that's how she did that. I know that. Because she'll talk somebody's ear off until they just give in. And they're like, okay, fine. You know, but... And she would always pick men who were not as attractive as she was. Because that's one thing women have over men. If you're an attractive woman, you can convince a man to do anything. Okay? Even marry you with four kids. Okay? Mm-hmm. But, you know, when they married, um, my last stepdad, there was only two kids left in the house. So that was easier. <laughs> But still, I mean, we were teenagers. We needed cars. We needed uh, clothes, designer clothes, because y'all know how it is in high school. So <laughs> she picked a good one because, you know, he was an engineer. So we had we had cars, clothes, and everything. Uh, so yay for mom. Mom knew how to do it. Yeah, so you, remember, ladies, don't go for looks. Go for what a man can do for you and your family. Don't go for looks. Mm -mm. You go get you somebody that you know you can handle and who who's going to give you and be generous to you and your kids, you know. This is this is like, you know, this is good advice because most women are looking for the one, the special one, the beautiful man, the best partner, the soulmate. No, you need to look for somebody who's going to support you and your family because that other soulmate love and all that kind of stuff, that's for teenage years. That's for early 20s. That's that's when you find out that this, that's not real, okay? You can find your best friend in marriage. You can find your partner in life, but that's not going to be a soulmate, lovey-dovey, perfect 10 man with six-pack and stuff. No, okay? If, if every man was that perfect... <laughs> They would probably be gay. Anyway, like I'm saying. So go for the man who you look better than, who likes you more than you like them. And they're going to treat you right, okay? Don't don't try to chase after these guys who think that they're all that. Because after age 40, if you they don't have themselves together, their looks are starting to fade. After age 40, they're just losers, okay? Go for somebody that has a career, a job, own their own business, who can take care of you, can take care of your kids, who won't mind because they have so much. You know, they don't have to count their pennies and they don't look like it's it's killing them when they give their credit card to the to the person to pay for food. Have you ever seen a guy where when they pay it looks like it hurts? It's like I hate that. I'll be like, you know what? That was the last time I seen them because I know it hurts to pay. And it's, to me, that means you don't have anything. And we can't work because I like to have fun and I like to do things and I like to go places and I like to spend money. And if you can't do that, then you need to find somebody else who is not used to that lifestyle because I can do that for myself. And if you can't do that for me, then why do I need you? You know? So I'm going to leave it at that. I know a lot of guys are going to be mad. I don't care, as usual. Um, you wouldn't be mad if you brought yourself up, had some abundance, and respected yourself enough to get a career and or work your way up to wherever you need to be. You have more ambition. You wouldn't be mad about anything. You know, Women have high standards, and you need to meet those high standards. And if you can't, don't be mad at us. Be mad at yourselves. Okay? All right. Bye.